This video follows on from two earlier videos um, in which we were looking at an experiment where a fair coin was spun four times and our random, random variable x was the number of times the coin lands on heads. So we've already worked out the probabilities associated with each of those outcomes using the binomial distribution uh, and subsequently con uh, calculated the values of ex and var x, so the expectation, ex expected value of x, the mean, and the variance of x. And those were calculated and stored. What we're going to do in this is see how well a normal distribution that uses those values of the mean and the variance will approximate the results we've achieved from the binomial distribution. We're going to see how close we can get with the normal distribution. So again, we need to go into mode two on the um, in stats mode. And uh, I've got the um, values of x stored in list one, and I've got the binomial distribution probabilities stored in uh, list two, calculated using the binomial distribution. In list three, which is uh, empty, uh, I'm going to calculate the normal distribution probabilities. So to do that, I go into distribution again, and this time I go to F1 normal, and I'm going to do NPD, I'm going to do individual probabilities, so press F1 again. Now my data again is in a list, so I need to choose F1, and the data is in list 1, it's changed that automatically. If it doesn't appear in list 1, you'll need to change it. Um, we've got list 1 there. Um, and then we need to set our standard deviation and our mean. Now, unusually, these are the other way around. It can, it's easy to get caught out with this, so make sure you put the standard deviation in first. Now, we've worked out the variance, and the variance is 1, but the standard deviation is the square root of the variance, so we need to put the square root of 1. Now, the square root of 1, in this case, is going to be 1, um, but I'm going to type it in as square root 1, um, because it's a good habit to get into to remind yourself to always type that square root sign because you need the square root of the variance to get the standard deviation. Uh, and the mean we calculated to be 2. And I'm going to store my results in list 3. Make sure you put list 3 there. Your binomial distribution results are in list 2. You want to put these next to them. And then scroll down. And uh, we're going to look at uh, calculating that now by pressing Execute, F1. And there are our binomial probabilities. If we go back to our original data list by pressing exit twice, you can see them next to each other. So the binomial probability for 0 was 0 0.0625. The normal approximation is 0 0.0539 and so on. So these approximations aren't actually that bad. They're reasonably close to the binomial ones. The binomial ones, of course, are more reliable because we know it fits the binomial distribution. It's a discrete set of data. But the normal distribution is giving us a reasonable approximation.